let's talk about nice how important is sex in a relationship? Are you kidding me? There's nothing more important than sex in a relationship. That's, that's everything. I mean, relationship is like you legitimizing sex. It's, your, it's the greatest excuse for having sex. Love, sex, together, one. Look, if you don't have it in a relationship, he will get it outside. If you don't cook food at home, he'll eat roadside food. You, you, you can't have relationship without sex. Have none of them. Without sex, believe me, man, you guys can never spend the rest of your lives together. There's something missing if you don't have a good sexual relationship. Depending on the relationship, actually, there's some relationships that sex is not healthy, right? All these kindergarten relationships. But when, once it's marriage, it's very important. It's like heir to human beings. <sighs> and you must learn to reinvent that sexual relationship. Like every year, try something different. Sex, very integral part, not just in relationships, even in, in marriages. And so many sex, well, good sex basically, has, has earned so many, so many women that had no right to be called wife material, a space in marriage. Think about that. Can a man be really satisfied with one sexual partner? Why are you asking me this question? Like seriously, why are you asking me this question? <laughs> Wow. Based on reports and, you know, analysis, it's more men are not satisfied with one sexual partner. Men are not usually like that. Guys are different, you know? One sexual partner? Probably no, truthfully. Probably no. And when I created like that, no. I mean, Adam was the father of many generations, and then of course he took that on to Abraham, who was declared the father of many generations. So, I mean, since his time immemorial, man was not gifted to only one woman. When you're married, yes, one partner, do that, wouldn't you? But outside marriage, nah, you can experiment. Like, you want to get it all out there. Just so when you get into marriage, yeah, you don't start having ideas. The African tradition and culture allows for a polygamous framework. So the African man might be a bit too potent for one woman. So respect to all the men who are managing with one woman. Can a man choose to be one sexual partner? Yes. Most men give themselves the excuse that variety is the spice of life. I don't know where they got that from. Why a balanced diet? Why different options of clothes? Why different hairstyles? Why different weather patterns? Even the earth is all about change. Change is the only constant thing in life. And sometimes for you to find the one, you must search the many, and you might need to do a thorough search. All right, you're welcome back. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be fun. Uh -huh. um, we are here. Everybody seems to be biting their Get fingernails to it, do it. and touching the table. <laughs> you're leaning now, you know, I, I, I've seen quite a number of posts on blogs recently, in the last year or two, where um, a couple, either the guy or the girl, have claimed that, oh, they stayed without sex, or they abstained from sex up mm. until marriage. There was this very popular guy who cried on his wedding day. I don't know if you, you saw that video. He, no. he was wailing. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've seen I don't that. Know yeah, Why was he wailing? It was a video He was picture. happy to see his wife. Then oh, yeah. she put up a post eventually or something, and we find out they also abstained. I know, there were all these memes about, oh, that's why he was crying, like, finally, <laughs> I'm going to get down to it tonight. So, obviously, for people like that, they could go two, three, four, five years mm. in a relationship without <laughs> sex. But you also hear people say that sex is an integral part of any relationship. Mm. I, I went for, uh, for five years without sex. <laughs> why did I, think, I mean, that was before. Was this, was this at age zero to five? <laughs> <laughs> My point is, it is absolutely possible. I mean, it's, 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 it's not a bad thing when you want to explore your relationship without sex, to know how much you are actually in love uh -huh. with this person. So that one, don't take that away. I, I believe very strongly in that. So you think a relationship can survive without it? It can, yeah. Well, no, I don't. So <laughs> let's be very honest. Let's, let's be very straightforward about this, right? But people have done it. Yeah, exactly. people have done it. And which is why people wind up weeping on their wedding days. <laughs> That guy's never going to be able to look his boys in the eye again, ever. Ruined. Oh anyway, God. here's the thing. I think there is a difference between the sexual act and sex itself. Yeah, sure, you can abstain from intercourse. 
But I think even in abstaining from intercourse, there's other ways that sex can play a role in your relationship that's not necessarily physical. How? So, please. yeah, exactly. Dude, 90% of the sexual act happens before you guys ever get within touching distance of each other. It's most, most of it is in your mind. Well, we, like, we know you. Like we know that's what you do, like, on an everyday basis, <laughs> like, undress women. No, but seriously, what, how, how does that work? Because I, I, what, what I think <laughs> oh, sex fine. is, is, you know... Was have, it called? Have Copulation? You, have you coitus? ever been coitus? Have you coitus? Ever been coitus? <laughs> coitus. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's, you know, there's a touchy-feely part of things. <laughs> yeah, there is, but the touchy-feely part like, of things... Most times usually, ending in an guys, orgasm. I will be the one to but say wait, this. But that you so do you orgasm by just looking? Or thinking? Okay, are, we, are we really going to have this tantric conversation? Tantric orgasm. <laughs> okay, so tell me that you've never been in a situation where you had long-distance sex. No. Over the phone? Never. Over the phone? Yeah. No, I'm not that, I'm not that freaky, you know. I know he has done that quite a few times, but I haven't. Hey, I mean... Your right to be on this panel is greatly <laughs> compromised right now. <laughs> Your right well, how to does that work? That, uh, for those like me who don't know, how does that work? So what do you do? You get on the phone, she gets on the phone, or you're on Skype or FaceTime or whatever, and you know, you... I think he needs a practical example. You do stuff. So you, you have basically like Skype sex. So you, un you undress, she undresses, and you guys touch it. It depends. Okay. I mean, if, if, no, if, if wait, 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 wait. Okay, so it's but mutual, that is not it's, sex. That's basically masturbation. masturbation. Yes. Yeah, it, that's masturbation. That's yeah, but sex. okay, hold on. So, but, but your definition of sex was this some touchy feely stuff, which usually ends in an orgasm. So how is mutual if masturbation? If you're touching not some yourself, kind of it's masturbation. It's what I think. Oh, so that's what it is. Each time we're watching movies and we put our hands down our pants. I thought that was just a comfortable thing. <laughs> you're an but, idiot. Sorry, but I think you guys are actually holding back a lot, especially you, Andre Blaze, because you know, no, okay, so let, you let, know, you know, you know what we what we want you to talk about. Things that things that married people can't talk about. Are you just there holding Why back? Why can't you talk about it? Why yeah, can't you talk I think, about it? I, I think sex is an integral part of a relationship. I think, I think it is too. It's, it's, I think it's very, very important for a long-term relationship. I mean, it's possible to start a relationship without. You always hear that. Oh, yeah. let's let's find each other out. Let's I thought it was the other F word you were about to use. No. Yeah, I, 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 That's I, I did heard it. that come this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let's discover each other. Let's, let's know if we are. <laughs> let's find we our place with yeah. each other. Yeah. We go down that route, you know. I understand that, but I don't think it's hard. It's, it's, Im it's impossible, I'm sorry. He said the word. I'm sorry, look, Ibuka and Mazino can't say these things. Ibuka because- no, but I can. Ibuka is a nice guy. Mazino because he doesn't want to die, but <laughs> here's the thing. Let, let, let's find out what the women think. Oh, fine. Uh, about let's, about let's this sex thing. Because I mean, it always looks like he's the man who can't do without sex. But he, you know what? Since both of you are married, I have quite a few questions for you. Oh, please. I, I will we'll, answer we'll, them. We'll find out what <laughs> the men have to say. say. I okay. will answer them. Okay. We'll come Promise. back. We'll find out what Andre Blaze's questions are. And if it's possible to stay married without sex, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> On the couch, maybe. Is that an actual question? <laughs> let's see what they have to say. We'll see you guys in a moment. <laughs> build up to sex is marriage <laughs> okay I'm just joking but I'm just going to just state that this is between a husband and wife okay proper build up to sex I would say is great communication uh, you need to understand what your partner wants what your partner like you know likes and stuff and then kind of just plan the day out you wine and dine her treat her like egg take her to different places you know, baby her. You know, women, as much as some of us can be really, really strong and whatever, sometimes we like to be, you know, taken care of, so to speak. So I'm not saying come and pay my bills, but you know, treat me like I'm the queen that I am. It's not like me now, I'm like really huge on food. So definitely breakfast in bed, then lunch, and then come back and give me dinner. And ha, it's gonna be bomb seeds, bomb eggs, because I'm full. And obviously, if you're really smart, for someone like me, if you're really, really smart, that's really exciting. If you challenge me mentally. I'm sure different things apply to different people. But food is always essential. And wine and chocolate because they are aphrodisiacs and stuff. So does size matter? Hold on. <laughs> Come on, guys. What do you think? Would you be refreshed more by this bottle of water or this bottle of water? The bigger the piece, the more 
I will enjoy it. Like I'm not going to date some guy that has like, like definitely, I know I'm not married, I'm not marrying any Asians, definitely. It is just, it's just what it is. I also need to state here that size is not everything because there are some guys that don't know how to use this. However, there are guys that know how to use it, okay? Using it, having it, and knowing how to use it. Two different things, okay? The bigger you are, the more protected I feel. So the more I feel like it's a man that I'm with, as opposed to a little boy, a little skinny person, or someone that puts their head in between my legs and I can't see you. I mean, really. So yes, size does matter. You know how sometimes, like, you already know that, okay, well, this is what my guy has, okay, let's just go. And then he just puts it in and you're like, <gasps> baby, is that you? You know, so it really depends on how you're able to use the instruments that God has provided you with. So I'm never going to look at water bottles the same again. Ever? <laughs> no. Ever. What is she doing? She ruined it for the rest <laughs> of the world. I mean, yes, was it? Was I, I don't think, anyway. I'm, I'm I'd not to see what she bookmarks on Pornhub. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> Did you see what she held? Yeah. And she, and she liked it. Like she's like, and she goes, she's used using this. <laughs> you said you had a question for him. <laughs> OK, so. For us. Married us. guys. Bring it, bring it on. <laughs> married guys, all right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How does sex work in a marriage? So you go your entire life being single, and you have all this variety around you. And then you get married, and you have one person. Which is what you're worried about, uh, worried about I understand. Well, no, that's not what I'm worried about. Okay. I, I, I know people who, if that was the worry, I would have been married a long time ago. That's mm. not the problem. How do you keep it together? How do you stay satisfied with that one person after you've had so much variety for so long? Is that's, there like a switch? Why do you think we all had so much variety? I don't yeah, know I, don't, I don't get <laughs> What are you talking about? Hey, I mean, hey, seriously. We have so much variety. Hey, well, listen, yeah, in a marriage, yeah. <laughs> in a marriage, and the fact uh, is. That's where I'm going. <laughs> this is what most guys who are not married are actually concerned about the fact that you have to deal with just one person all your life. Actually, However, speaking, speaking from but, the standpoint of the one guy who's not married on this panel, you're completely wrong. That's not what we're worried about. We'll get to that. But the fact is, it's actually a very fun process still. It, How so? Yeah. Like you don't, oh, you're having problems? No, okay. so no, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, wow. <laughs> yeah. you're I'm sorry. You're not going to take that I'm sorry. down. No, 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 don't do anything about Knock that. Knock them out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But what I mean is, hey, it, it, it depends how you guys um, spice stuff up, you know, as... So you're saying that you don't know anybody who's been married who says, yo, at some point it just gets... I do know bored. a lot of people who have... So how do, they, how do they fix that? It's, it's, I think if, if you're going into a marriage, right, if you believe what marriage is about, first of all, you are an adult, mm -hmm. right? You can't go into that with the mindset of, well, I'm going to university to be free and have sex with everybody. You know what you're going into. First of all, you're mentally prepared for what you're going into. Mm -hmm. Secondly, which is why I said it's, it's impossible to be in that sort of a long-term relationship without sex. Now, what happens is, the difference for a lot of people, which I think is very exciting, is the fact that you have sex when you want it, as against going to look for sex. It's great. It's great knowing that, okay, I can go home today and I'm going to have, be able to have sex if I want to have sex. Yeah. Most of the mm -hmm. time. <clears throat> most of the time. Yeah. Of course, there are going to be times when there's a fight or someone is you know, not in the mood and all That's that. That's not a great incentive but for certain... Ibuka, I have a question. You can, we can wait one freaking day, Andre, Ibuka, and have, have sex the next day. Let me, let me, I don't know how... Can what I ask you this doing. question? <laughs> <laughs> can I ask you yeah, this so question? Having sex on demand is great for a lot of people. Right. And I think there's a lot to do with sex mm. for it to not stay boring. Check this, though. <clears throat> now, before you got married... Great opener. Yeah. Great opener. Before you got married... Yeah. What was the frequency of... Yeah. How often did you yeah. have sex before you got married? Um, and how often after? No, I'm having, you should I'm, answer I'm this. having more I sex now that I'm Yeah, of course you're having more sex. Yeah. You will have more sex now when you're exactly. married because it's... Yeah. Always there when you get back from work. I don't know why, but I can't stop looking at you like you're lying. No, <laughs> but... No, but I don't... I, I mean... I'm, notice I'm not speaking for anybody. <laughs> I'm speaking for myself. Well, you didn't answer the question, though. Yeah. Okay, how no, before? He says, he says yeah. more I don't now. know. I don't know that it was a frequency because it went up and down. There were moments when I went months. On the average. You know what? Let's I do I don't this. know. How often? There were times when it was every day. There were times when it was once. Before you were married. Yeah. Every hold day. Up, hold the up, same hold person or different people. Let's ask it could be even more ugly question. Huh. What is the most life, sex you know. you've had at any <laughs> given point in your life? What's the most sex? What's the most sex you've had at any given point in your life? After marriage. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'm serious. <laughs> Ibuka is, Ibuka Why can't you accept it? You're entirely boring. No. That's all. 
No. I don't, he why is, why is this halfway he to understand? Yeah. This is your partner. You guys are together. Mm -hmm. Sex is a part of marriage. Actually, not having sex is a ground for divorce. That's a problem. So you are supposed to have sex. He wouldn't understand this. <laughs> I don't know how to put this to you guys, but something stinks in between both of you, <laughs> and I'm not buying into it. Not you know what stinks? Least. You've been single. <laughs> <laughs> Says the one guy who has <laughs> no access to the things I do. <laughs> like what? Variety. Like being able to put an S at the word partner. <laughs> I want to get away from that and talk about the women. And there's something that I think a lot of guys complain about a lot. What's that? With women in sex. And it's fake orgasms. Oh, and I know some guys say like, yeah, she could fake plastic it. The plastic goes, yeah. Let me just do my dinner and sleep. What is that? <laughs> if you like, you should fake it. Do you know when they fake it? Yes. Yes. No, not always. Not always. Not always. But I can with the, There's something to do with the Kegel muscle, actually, when a woman climaxes. You actually should be able to sense it. It's, what if you're not the in there when it happens? Yeah. Well, there are those people who have exterior type of orgasms. I, I think... Like, they just shout and scratch your back and you think it's happening. Yeah, well... No, but see, there's, there's one thing that, that never goes wrong with an orgasm, though. Right. The stomach muscles, the lower stomach muscles. It's literally impossible. So, you just put your hand there. No, like, <laughs> like if you look... Like, look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah, if you look at her stomach, you will know if she's actually... All the light is off. What? Uh, yeah, then you're screwed, man. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to know it. Actually, yes, you are. Yeah. Getting it, screwed. But do you yeah. mind? <laughs> Could, like, is it important to you for her to Absolutely. Orgasm? Are you kidding? So you feel like less of a man when she does yes. that? Yes. Yes, actually. What if you just do a one band one night stand? Brrr, I don't care. Just, the, uh, you they, must give her her own. See, it, look, the, there are two kinds of people. There are two kinds of males that I've discovered, right? Mm. They're the guys who can go, nah, I'm just going in there to have fun. I'll be done in 20 minutes and go back to work. But 20 then, minutes? Ah, that's long ago. What are you doing for 20 minutes? Let's be serious in sex. Um, is he your wife? Okay. okay. I'm talking a one night stand. Uh, is he your wife? Now, that's another topic and I no, think but that's another topic. No, we should go there. No, no, no. no, no, no. How long is that? No, 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 how long is <laughs> sex? How long is okay? I'm not talking foreplay. How no, long is okay? I'm not talking foreplay. <laughs> are we are we sex? I mean, yeah. How What's, long should it last? Yes. How long is how long the should it last? Not foreplay, just best duration. In and out. Come on. There's no fix. There's no fix. Is government work? There's no fix. No, but seriously, look. So, this is, this is it, right? If, if sex for you is the minute... So, you're saying you make love to everybody you have sex with? Like, you have that whole process? No, I don't have... Well, I do have a whole process, yes. But I, don't, I won't say I make love to everybody that I have sex with. But, so, but 20 minutes is your minimum time. No. No, but that's for you. <laughs> that's... He said 20, I didn't say 20 who minutes. Said, who said 20 minutes? Look at me. I didn't <laughs> say 20 minutes was my what minimum are you? time. Are you a porn star? It's not my minimum. Ah, the Andre Blaze I knew in Port Harcourt. Shut up. <laughs> the what? Oh, Shut you up. didn't know this guy 16 wow. years ago. Wow. He was a How did we star. get to this point oh. in this conversation? <laughs> mm, ah, mm. So. <laughs> so what is the minimum time? What's the minimum what, time? What is the average time? What should it be? 30. 30 minutes? Yes. Yeah. I, I, of I, I, sex. I have to. Oh, do you mean from like, no, I, you know, I, from I, like foreplay to, to the no end? Foreplay. No foreplay. No ah, foreplay. Wait, does that From take... penetration to you. Oh, having an orgasm. Word. Okay, hold on, hold on. But does that include the time when you're, you're, you're not going to be you're not going to be stroking throughout the entire thirty minutes? Oh God! No, seriously. <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> no, seriously. Okay, so hold on. You work into an orgasm and then you're going to just keep on going. Are you? Are you? Are you Andre, a train? Let, let me give you. Okay, so you go to a bar. <sighs> you are almost drunk. You are horny as hell. Like if they do like this, bruh. <laughs> that sort of, that sort of a mood. Of course, you're going to be stroking. What are you doing? You stroke, you come out, you touch, you But that, that's the process for me. Like you said, that's too my Too much, process. too much, too graphic. <laughs> I'm going to stroke and I'm going, I'm going to pull back out and I'm going to do something else. There's other ways to go. What else? What, you what, else? what, what else? What else? Guy. You're an idiot. Look, what? look. Come on, look, sex, sex, only, the way I think of it, only about 55% of sex after penetration should have to do with the penis. Okay, I have another Straight question. Up. I don't know if we still have time, but like you, you pointed out something after she has uh, reached climax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you continue? I mean, how long is okay to continue? Or how so long? Continue off? what now? It depends. Going on, I mean. It depends. Some women are going to time out after that one time. Yeah. Just no, don't do that. Leave me alone. The same way you time out once you do that. Yeah. <laughs>
There's only one designated point of entry. Let it remain there. Let's keep the standard. Don't mention another woman's name. Do not have only a, satisf a satisfaction at the back of your mind. Like if you're not sure, ask. There's no harm in you asking, for real. Like It makes you more of a man if you ask, as opposed to pretending like you feel like you're the shit and you've done something. And really, she's just there like, really, what just happened? Like, I need to send my girls that this nigga's wasting my time. Don't become a beast. Like, you want to claw and scratch too much and leave scars, you know, and all of that. And all that. No, no. Don't, don't do that. Don't rush into sex straight from the club. Try a romantic shower first with antiseptic soap. You want to avoid body odor. Do wait till you're married, because um, that way you kind of are not sleeping with like different guys. 